क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव we have to calculate the area of region r consisting all the points p satisfying the condition dp1 plus dp2 lying between 2 and 4 let us consider the point p is x comma y in first quadrant then dp1 dp1 will be the length of perpendicular on x minus y which is x minus 1 y upon root 2 plus dp2 will be the length of perpendicular on x plus y equals to zero, and this sum is given as between two and four, which implies mod x minus y plus mod x plus y is less than equals to four root two, and greater than equals to two root two. Now we'll make two cases to simplify it, because we are in first quadrant. In the first quadrant, and y equals to x. is a line which divides this first quadrant in two parts this is a part where y is less than x and in this part y is greater than x so in first case we consider x is greater than y if x is greater than y we can say x is greater than equals to y then it is x minus y plus x plus y makes it 2x because x and y are already positive in first quadrant so it is lying between 2 root 2 and 4 root 2 this implies x belongs to root 2 to 4 root 2 to root 2 similarly when we'll make the second case our x is less than y when x is less than y we will write here y minus x and this is y plus x the summation will be 2y 2y is less than equals to 4 root 2 greater than equals to 2 root 2 therefore y belongs to root 2 to 2 root 2 now we will sketch the region when x is greater than equals to y this is the region these two lines are representing this one is x equals to 2 root 2 and this is y equals to 2 root 2 and these are the lines representing x equals to root 2 line and this line is y equals to root 2 so in first case x is root 2 to 2 root 2 means since this region between these two lines so this is the favorable area and according to the second case y is from root 2 to 2 root 2 it means this is a favorable region so we have to find the area of the shaded region this is a square of side length 2 root 2 and this is also a square of side length root 2 so the required area will be 2 root 2 square minus root 2 square which is 8 minus 2 equals to 6 so 6 is the answer question number 56 the given constraint says n1 should be greater than equals to 1 and as n2 is greater than equals to n1 therefore although the restriction is n2 is greater than n1 but we can say n2 will be greater than or equals to 2 n3 will be greater than or equals to 3 n4 will be greater than equals to 4 and n5 will be greater than equals to 5 because n2 is greater than n1 so the least value of n1 is 1 but the least value of n2 will be 2 now if i assume n1 minus 1 as x1 the n x1 will be greater than equals to 0 n2 minus 2 is say x2 it is greater than equals to 0 similarly for n5 minus 5 equals to x5 it is also greater than or equals to 0 it gives us n1 as x1 plus 1 then n2 is x2 plus 2 and so on up to n5 is x5 plus 5 as we know that sum of these five integer is 20 we will say the new equation is x1 plus 1 plus x2 plus 2 plus x3 plus 3 x4 plus 4 up to x5 plus 5 is equal to 20 which implies x1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x4 plus x5 is equal to 20 minus this is 15 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 So this is the new equation that it should be equals to five. Now what is the new constraint? The new condition is x one 
should be less than x2 but it can be equal as well as x2 is less than equals to x3 is less than equals to x4 is less than equals to x5 how it is developed it is developed from this condition we know that n1 is less than n2 therefore x1 plus 1 is less than x2 plus 2 this gives us x1 minus x2 is less than equals to 1 it's less than 1 if it is less than 1 this implies x1 is less than x2 plus 1 by this we can conclude that x1 is either less than x2 or x1 is equals to x2 now using this we can proceed in the manner to the solution that we are going to assign these five identical things to these five numbers x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 in such a manner this restriction is followed now how we can do it we can make a chart we can make the cases it is very simple to note down those possibilities x1 x2 x3 x4 and x5 now we are assigning the value we can do in this way all the five things are assigned to x5 all the five numbers and this are zero now we are assigning it to two numbers this is 4 1 3 and 2 this star 0 now we will assign to three numbers there is no more possibility for assigning the two numbers because we cannot assign this 5 to any one of these four because x5 will be greater than x4 x4 cannot be greater than x5 now it is 3 1 1 0 0 or 2 2 1 0 0 then it is 2 1 1 1 0 and then it is 1 1 1 1 1 these are the seven cases so these are seven possibilities so we can expect seven integral solutions of this equation so our answer is seven question number 57 it is a good problem of definite as well as indefinite integration we will integrate it by parts considering 4x cube as a first function and this 1 minus x square whole raised to the power 5 as the second function the double derivative of this expression is the second function 4x cube will be the first the integration of this function will be 1 minus x square raised to the power 5 first derivative from 0 to 1 minus we will differentiate 4x cube it is 12x square into 1 minus x square raised to the power 5 the first derivative of this expression in this part when we differentiate it 1 minus x is having power 5 it means when we put 1 after after differentiating it we will get 0 and by this 0 and 4x cube we will again get 0 so this part will vanish we have to start it from here it is minus 12 and again applying the bipart integration considering this as first and this is second it is x square multiplied by 1 minus x square raised to the power 5 we integrated this function again it is from 0 to 1 minus differentiation of x square gives us 2x 0 to 1 and it is 1 minus x square raised to the power 5 dx now this is 0 so minus 12 now we will integrate this part using very basic substitution we can directly say it is minus 12 into minus 2 is 24 0 to 1 x into 1 minus x square raised to the power 5 dx let us consider 1 minus x square as t then the definite integral will become at x equals to 0 it is 1 and x equals to 1 t is 0 x dx will be minus dt by 2 and this is t raised to the power 5 this will become now 12 
we will cancel 24 by 2 and the limit will be 0 to 1 t power 5 dt this is t power 6 by 6 and 12 multiplied by 1 by 6 is 2 